Here's a quick tip for anybody that's having a hard time getting their prints off of the build plate if you're using any kind of painter's tape. Um, the secret's actually really simple. It's just rubbing alcohol. I just keep some in a squeeze bottle near the printer. And the first thing that you want to do is start removing all of the excess tape from around the print. You might have to use an X-Acto knife to get some of the extra out. Um, it's not critical that you get all of the tape off. It just makes it easier for the rubbing alcohol to soak under the tape. And this is especially useful if you have a print like this where it has some you know, delicate features stuck on the build plate like the fingers on in this case. So you just want to let some rubbing alcohol just wick around the print. It, um, it naturally just wants to go all the way around the print just by the capillary action on the tape. And it doesn't take a whole lot. You don't, don't have to use a bunch. But once you get the rubbing alcohol down, you want to just let it start to soak for uh, maybe sometimes only 10-15 seconds. At the most, maybe 20-30 seconds. And so once it's in, you can start gently moving, moving the print. And sometimes you still do have to use the spatula just to get it moving a little bit. You want to kind of lift it a little, and that gets the alcohol to go further in. You can see that piece is nice and loose now. Let's check this hand. Yep, that one's loose, so we'll come up and check the feet. There you go, and that's it. That's all there is to it. And then paint, painter's tape peels off nice and easy off the bottom. And that's it, there you go. No broken pieces. Alright, sorry for the funky audio change on this, I had to dub over this part of the clip, but here's another example. The tape's already been pulled off and you can see I'm putting some more of the rubbing alcohol around the print. And again, it didn't take a whole lot and on this particular print it didn't have to soak for very long. <clears throat> you can see that the print is still stuck to the bed a little, but if I just give it a little bit of a twist and it comes right up off the bed. So this one's really simple, to, really easy to remove with the rubbing alcohol. And some of you might be saying just go ahead and print straight to the glass, and that's fine. There's, there's, you know, that's a good way of doing it too. But sometimes it's just easier to use the tape. It's more forgiving as far as the bed leveling goes, and um, you can get good adhesion at lower bed temperatures. I tend to print with a fairly low bed temperature, around 40 degrees Celsius, and so the tape for me is just easier. Uh, I tend to use it quite a bit, and um, so I mean, there's, there's a lot of different ways of doing it. This is just the way that I prefer and a trick that I found and so I wanted to share it with you guys and so there it is and thanks for watching